Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I posted my last video and I apologize for basically saying I was coming back to YouTube and then not coming back. But I promise I had all the intentions of editing videos, making new videos, but if you didn't know, I started a new job here in Mexico. I am a teacher in Mexico. I'm teaching at an international school, which is a lot more work and pressure than my previous job in Korea. I had a lot of free time to be able to commit to YouTube and traveling that I now need to focus into my full-time job which is my priority, so that has been pretty much my focus. Trying to get used to life here in Mexico, getting used to my new job, making sure that I feel stable and comfortable in my job, that I feel like I can slowly ease myself back into YouTube. I had so many videos that I filmed in Mexico City, so many that I scrapped, so many that I still have the footage that I'm still trying to go through and edit, which has been a bit of a struggle but i'm getting there progress we're making progress in today's video as you can see by the title i went to xochimilco and teotihuacan in mexico city unfortunately i did not do that great of a job while i was vlogging i kind of need to explain little things which is why this intro might be a little bit lost if you'd like to skip ahead you can totally skip ahead to the beginning of the vlog but i do have notes so i can stay focused so the first place that we went to is xochimilco which um, a little bit of a history lesson mexico city um, back in the ancient aztec days was called tenochtitlan which was built on top of a lake so mexico city is literally on top of a lake i feel like a lot of people don't know this i definitely did not know this and so because mexico city was built on a lake the aztec people built trajineras which are boats that had like a flat bottom so they were basically gondolas that they would use to go around the city someone had the amazing idea to put mud on top of one of these gondolas basically build the city on top of which is so genius the fact that they even were able to think of this and do this and now mexico city is where it is today an incredibly huge city is amazing i think we were in xochimilco for about five hours you can stay there for longer or less you can go through tons of different routes there's tons of food lots of restaurants a lot of gift shops a lot of plant shops a lot of different tourist attractions that you can see all throughout xochimilco we went to like the haunted island that had a bunch of dolls everywhere it sounds crazy but you'll see in the video i think it took two and a half hours to get there two and a half hours I don't remember how much we paid to rent the gondola. You can bargain your price with the people that are rowing the boats, but the more people you go with, the cheaper your trip is going to be. And on the second trip, we went to Teotihuacan, which is about an hour or an hour and a half drive away from Mexico City. The tour group that I booked it with, they do give you the option to have a shuttle pick you up and take you to the pyramids, but we decided to drive there. If I could do this trip over again, I would decide to go with the shuttle instead of driving there ourselves because we did arrive after the time we were supposed to be there, which was during the sunset sunrise takeoff. So unfortunately, by the time we got to Teotihuacan, the sunset had already happened and when we got into the air, it was pretty cloudy, but it was still a beautiful experience, absolutely worth doing. I'm also really grateful that the tour guide that we booked it through allowed us to actually go on a later time because a lot of the tour companies do not allow you to sign up for a new spot if you miss the time that you signed up for. I'll leave all the information to their Instagram that you can DM them at if you're interested in knowing prices and asking them any questions. All of that will be in the description box down below. And we did go to Teotihuacan to see the pyramids. At the time that we went, the pyramids were still closed due to COVID, so you couldn't actually climb onto the pyramids or climb all the way to the peak. I think by now the restrictions have lifted, but during the summer they were still there, so we were not able to climb up the pyramid. I think that's everything that I wanted to mention about the video that I didn't actually say in the video. Without further ado, here's the vlog. I hope that you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!
Yeah. What Mexican food have you tried so far? <laughs> Tlayudas? Like Tlayudas? Like yeah. Oh, like the Mexican pizza, right? Yeah, yeah that's from Oaxaca, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. What else? Mole, I didn't like it. Mole? You didn't no. like mole? No. It's the Mexican curry. No. It's the Mexican curry. It was curry. nasty, right? It was bad. It's not good. You don't like it? No. I can't do it. No, it was nasty. I can't do it. Oh, you need to try it. You need to try it like the elote. It's the best snack. Yeah, you can have like the whole elote or like the. Oh my god. <laughs> So apparently, now we're on an island full of dolls, like haunted dolls. This is what I signed up for for my Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of explained the story of this island to us basically there was a man that lived on this island and while he was rowing like rowing his little boat he saw this little girl uh, that drowned after she drowned he noticed that a lot of his crops started dying like he wasn't able to grow anything so he was convinced that because this girl had died it was like her haunting him he started to bring all of these dolls into this island and he actually lived here i think he collected the dolls for 20 years or maybe over 20 years but unfortunately at the age of 85 he passed away while he was rowing his boat he had a heart attack fell into the water and drowned apparently exactly where he fell into the water is exactly where he found the girl that passed away in 1950s so that is insane. I actually thought we were on a replica of the island, but this is the original. Yeah, you can feel the creepy vibes. It's a wrap for me. It's not for me, no. Like, oh, that's how it goes. This is the way that I wake 
guess you never know what it's about us, it's about us I'm sure it's okay what they say Don't let it fool me, show you love, sweet bride Show you love, sweet bride If you're down for that 